First, we need OBS. If you already have it installed, you can skip this step. But if you don't have OBS, here is how to install it very easily. Open Google Chrome or any browser you have, type OBS here, click on OBS download. Go to the first website, download OBS Studio. Now it depends on what you use, Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm using Windows, so I select Windows, then click this blue button, download installer. It will install up here, it will take a few seconds. When it's ready, click on it to open it. This window will appear. You need to click next twice and then install I think. I'm not sure, but just keep clicking next until it installs. I can't do this because I already installed it. Now that you have OBS installed, it may seem complicated at first glance, but it isn't. It will be very simple to set up. On the bottom left, you will see the scenes. Normally, you should see a scene here, but if there isn't one, click on this plus and create a scene. Then go to the sources, click the plus, and for gaming, you just need game capture. Rename it CS2 if you want, click OK. Here, select capture any full screen application and press OK. Now that we have the game in OBS, we also need the webcam if you want to use it. Click the plus again and go to the video capture device. Rename it webcam or whatever you want. Press OK. Here, select your webcam. For example, I have an Elgato face cam and press OK. Now, be careful not to put CS2 above the webcam because you won't see yourself. They must be in this order. Webcam first, CS2 second. For scenes at the beginning, you don't need more than that. Now, let's go to audio. For desktop audio, I recommend setting it to minus 5 decibels because otherwise the game will sound too loud on the live stream. Everything is already tested by me. Leave the microphone at 0 decibels. So far very simple, but now let's move to the streaming settings, the most important part of OBS. In general, you don't need to do anything except set the language to English so it's exactly like mine and you won't get confused. In appearance, you don't need to do anything. Go to stream. Under service, select YouTube RTMPS. Under server, select primary YouTube ingest server. Now it's recommended to connect with your YouTube channel, so that's what we do. Click connect account. It will take you to Chrome to accept connecting your account to OBS and after connecting you will see this. You can close this page and go back to OBS. Now you will see your YouTube channel name here which means you are connected. Now very important check this box to have full control over OBS streaming settings, bitrate, resolution, FPS without being limited by automatic restriction imposed by platforms like Twitch or YouTube. Before moving to other steps make sure to always click apply to save everything. Now go to output, set output mode to advanced, then go to streaming. I will go through them quickly because I know these are the best settings used by many streamers. Audio track, select one. Video encoder, select Nvidia NVEC H264. If you don't see Nvidia NVEC, it means you don't have a GPU. And without a GPU, you can stream games. Rescale output, disable, set 9020 by 1080. Rate control, CBR, constant bitrate, bitrate 6000. Keyframe interval 2 seconds, press set P6 slower, better quality, tuning high quality, multipass mode 2 passes quarter resolution, profile select high, uncheck lock ahead, check adaptive quantization, B frame 2, custom encoder options, leave it blank, then go to recording in case you want to record as well, select standard, recording path, click browse and select the folder where you want to save your videos, recording format, matroska video, because matroska it's safer. If OBS or PC crashes during recording, the file won't corrupt and can be recovered, unlike MP4 or MOV. Video encoder, same as streaming. Encoder settings, same as streaming. Click apply, go to audio. Set all audio tracks to 320. Then go to audio here, sample rate, select 38, desktop audio, default, mic audio, select the microphone you use, click apply. Go to video, base resolution, 1920 by 1080 output resolution same common fps values 60 fps click apply go to advanced process priority above normal scroll down to network on ip family select ipv4 and ipv6 default bind to ip select your internet ip check these three boxes and click apply now you will see your chat box on the screen and this box where you need to log in again with your YouTube account. After logging in, we still need to do something before going live. Steam and game settings. Open Steam. Go to CS2 on the left. Right click on it. Go to properties. And in launch options, we need to enter a command. 
This command is used by all major streamers and pro CS players. I will leave these commands in the description so you can copy paste them. Then close this page, because it saves automatically, open the game, go to settings, now it depends a lot on the resolution you play at. If you play 4x3 like me, go to OBS and you will see the game like this. But it's okay, just hold shift and drag with the mouse to the right exactly like I do. And now it will display correctly. If you play 16x9, you don't need to change anything in OBS. Now I will show you the 4x3 game settings. Always use full screen, otherwise OBS won't capture the image. Resolution 1440 by 1080 Refresh rate, the highest your monitor supports If you are using normal 16x9 resolution, set 1920 by 1080 Rest is the same as 4x3 Go to advanced video Boost player contrast, select enabled Vertical sync, select disabled Nvidia reflex low latency, select enabled Maximum FPS in game, select zero, unlimited Maximum FPS in menu, select like 500, current video values present, select custom, multi sampling anti aliasing mode, select 4x MSAE, global shadow quality, select high, dynamic shadows, select all, model texture detail, select low, texture filtering mode, select bilinear, shader detail, select low, particle detail, select low, ambient occlusion, select disabled, high dynamic range, select quality, fidelity FX super resolution, select disabled highest quality click apply go to audio EQ profile select crisp left right isolation select 60% voice input audio device select your mic microphone trigger threshold minus 50 these are my music settings if you want to copy them and if you want a good crosshair I will also leave it in the description if you want to copy paste it now you will notice the game looks better and it will also look good on the live stream but the most important thing is that your PC can handle these settings they are not high end but not low end either they are mid range now that the game is in OBS and working and you have the webcam you can move it whatever you want make sure the microphone and desktop audio are active open YouTube go to the top right click create go live go to the top left then to stream click on this edit button here you can enter your title description select private or public if you want to test streaming first set it to private you should also select the category and the thumbnail click save go to stream key click on it create new stream key name it 1080p on the streaming protocol select rtmp check turn on manual settings select 1080p you don't need to check this box because fps is already set in obs checking it could break the stream for viewers with slower internet. Click create. Select low latency for minimal delay. If you select normal latency, you will have a few seconds delay. Minimize the page now, but don't close it. Go to OBS, click manage broadcast. Select existing broadcast. Select the live stream you just created. Select broadcast. And now you can press on start streaming. Open Chrome again to check if you are live and you can click this button select a stream. If nothing appears, click refresh and your stream will appear here. Now you can see directly from your OBS how many people are watching your stream, if your connection is excellent or poor and how many views you have. On the right is the chat, but it won't work until the stream is live public. If the chat still doesn't work, close it, go to docs, select chat again and it will work. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this tutorial helped you, leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.